From the year 1950 to present, Africans' population has grown steadily and has outnumbered Europe and other continents. Based on the latest United Nations estimate, the current population of Africa is estimated to be around 1.4 billion as of October this year. This represents a growth rate of 2.5% per year. Europe also has a population of about 742.2 million people in 2023. This also represents a growth rate of just 0.04% per year making Europe one of the slowest growing regions in the world and Africa is the second largest growing population after Asia. The African continent's population is expected to reach 4.3 billion in the year 2100. But that is not all. In fact, according to a report by the United Nations Population Fund, Africa will have the majority of world's youthful population by the year 2055. By that time, Africa is projected to have 2.1 billion people under the age of 25, which will account for over 27% of the world's total youth population. So the question we are asking today is how can employment opportunities be provided for this expanding youth population. Well, many countries on the African continent are doing their best to take advantage of the youth population in the next decades. And one of these countries is Ghana. From the year 2018 till now, Ghana has trained 11,000 girls and people with disability in ICT, particularly coding. According to the Ghanaian Minister responsible for communication and digitalization, the country is doing this so that in the next 10 to 20 years, Ghana and African youth will provide the human resources for the entire world. I like to think that we're planting seeds for the future for they will manage the infrastructure and the services and applications that we're putting in today for ourselves. And I keep saying that if we give our young people on this continent the digital skills that they need today, they will provide the human resources for the global world of work in the next 10 to 20 years because of our demographic, Africa's demographic dividend. And so it's something that we're being very deliberate about. But apart from this, there are other several reasons Ghana has chosen to train more girls and people with disability in ICT, which we are going to talk about in this particular video. But before we start, please don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Now let's dive into it. ICT stands for Information and Communication Technology. It is a broad term that encompasses all the technologies and services involved in computing, data management, telecommunication provision, and the internet. These technologies all deal with the transmission and reception of information of some kind. ICT has become increasingly important in our lives and it is now used in almost every sector of our society, including businesses, banking, education, healthcare, and government. This has made skills in ICT a high demand in labor recently. But according to many researchers, females have limited access to ICT as compared to males. And this is because of several factors, including gender stereotype, lack of access to education and training opportunities, and discrimination in the workplace. For these reasons, the Ghanaian government and other organizations have implemented several initiatives to train more girls in ICT. For example, the Ministry of Communication and Digitalization has launched the Girls in ICT program, which provides girls with opportunity to learn about and develop their ICT skills. The program also includes mentorship and networking opportunities to help girls connect with women who are working in the ICT sector. Other organizations such as Plan International Ghana and Coding for Case Ghana are also providing ICT training to 
girls. So, in short, the government of Ghana is training more girls in ICT to bridge the gender digital gap. And again, the ICT sector is one of the fastest growing sector in the world and it offers a wide range of well-paying jobs. So, training more girls in ICT in Ghana can help to create more opportunities for them to succeed and contribute to the country's economy and the economy of the world at large. Let's hear more on this from Honorable Esla Ousu Ekufu, who is the Ghanaian Minister responsible for communication and digitalization. Now, in terms of digital literacy as well, we've put in place several in interventions to ensure our youth, women, persons with disability and disadvantaged are trained in ICT to ride this technology wave. With the assistance of GIFEC, the, our Universal Service Access Fund, the Kofi Annan IT Center of Excellence, Huawei, um, GIZ, the German Development Corporation, um, MTN, American Towers, and other partners, we're training girls in ICT to equip them with basic IT, IT skills, particularly programming and NCA as well, pardon me particularly programming skills to encourage them to develop interest in pursuing careers in ICT. So far, 11,980 girls from public basic schools in some of the remotest parts of this country have received com basic computing skills and coding. Some had never touched a computer before. And after one week's instruction, they're building their own websites and developing simple games and are excited about the opportunities that they've been exposed to. We're planting seeds. I like to think that we're planting seeds for the future, for they will manage the infrastructure and the services and applications that we're putting in today for ourselves. And I keep saying that if we give our young people on this continent the digital skills that they need today, they will provide the human resources for the global world of work in the next 10 to 20 years because of our demographic, Africa's demographic dividend. And so it's something that we're being very deliberate about. So if you are a girl watching us and you are interested in learning more about ICT, I will encourage you to check out some of these initiatives that are available in Ghana. There are many resources available to help you get started. So that is all for today's episode. Let us know your thoughts and suggestions on this in the comment section below. My name is Sheriff Haruna. Have a fantastic life and see you in our next video. Makrao.